my I first came to know John Wilkes Booth from an episode of The Simpsons where um, Bart is playing John Wilkes Booth and Milhouse is playing Abraham Lincoln and he shoots him and says, hasta la vista, A.B. Yeah, so I'm Jonathan Bloomberg writing for Movies in, in Sweden. Hi, how are you doing, man? I'm doing great, especially now when I get to speak uh, with you, of course, Anthony. Uh, so we spoke actually um, when uh, only a few weeks ago, um, pre previous to Masters of the Air <laughs> airing, uh, and uh, prior to that show, you had uh, prior to shooting that show, you had like these two uh, weeks of army training and and all of that, all the preparations. But how do, does one prepare to become the, the, the guy that shot the, the Amer first American president? Um, you don't do an army book camp. You do a cowboy book camp. So you show up a month before shooting and you have your mustache grown out and you hang out with a bunch of cowboys and uh, you ride horses, drink whiskey and chew tobacco and uh, try and get into the, the head space of Booth as much as possible. Um, yeah, so we've done a, a different kind of book camp. Yeah, it, it seems like it, this one was uh, a bit nicer <laughs> for you as an actor to, to to prep for that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it was a lot. I mean, just we were in Savannah, Georgia, which was an absolute dream in the middle of summer, um, riding horses, and uh, God, it was it was beautiful. Yeah, as opposed to being shouted at in a field in Oxford somewhere. Um, yeah, it was it was it was a lot. It was a lot nicer. Yeah. So um, I don't know how it was for, for you, but but me, uh, me myself, being a Swede, I, I only knew that he was killed and he was killed uh, in the theater. Uh, and I heard the name uh, John Wilkes Booth, uh, of course, but I didn't know anything about the story surrounding uh, the, the death and the, the, the wider plot against the entire country. How much did you know before you accepted the role about what had actually very little, happened? Very little. I mean, the my first came to know John Wilkes Booth from an episode of The Simpsons where um, Bart is playing John Wilkes Booth and Milhouse is playing Abraham Lincoln. And he shoots him and says, hasta la vista, A.B. And I remember, if, you know, uh, Milhouse turns around and goes, oh, no, it's John Wilkes Booth. And um, that, was, that was firmly in my head. And then you pick up little bits, you know, along the way when you're a bit older and it wasn't until I started researching for the role that I um that I really got into the you know I didn't know his family were actors I didn't know that he was one of the most famous actors of his day like this would be like you know Brad Pitt shooting Joe Biden it's it's insane you know the, it, when you draw the parallels people were, people were on the street going but John Wilkes Booth the actor has killed the yeah. press it's, it, you know and this, this is, you know, newspapers weren't traveling as fast, and it's it, it was there was mass hysteria all over the country. People people didn't believe it. People thought it was a joke. Um, it's just it's such a crazy thing. It's you know it's that you think of that quote the uh, you know the truth stranger than fiction. You know it's a it's a crazy 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 thing. For sure. Uh, so uh, now when you've done um, both these uh, shows for for Apple, how, how has it been working on? On Apple shows, uh, for, for I guess you've done that for quite a while now. Yeah, good. Um, yeah, grand man. They're a, they're a great company to work for. Uh, yeah, they're good, man. I feel like they're producing some really interesting work right now. They're doing a lot of um, yeah, some some really cool projects, and it's been a, they've been a real joy to to work for. It's it's been a joy to cover the uh, their shows for for the past years as well. Uh, they, yeah, so thanks a lot for taking the time to, to speak with me and best of luck with the premiere of this show. Thanks, man. It was, it was a role that I leapt towards and wanted to run away from at the same time. Hey, uh, I'm Jonathan Bloomberg, writing for a movie scene in Sweden. Hi. Hi. Uh, so I've obviously watched the uh, entire uh, miniseries and... Uh, I think your character is the one that most people know of uh, beforehand, at least. Uh, I, I would uh, rank Abraham uh, Lincoln as like one of the three people that you could recognize the shadow of. Like it's <laughs> uh, it, it's Sorrow and uh, um, uh, Indiana Jones and Abraham Lincoln, and you instantly <laughs> know. Uh, so I, I'm guessing. Uh, 
taking on the role of such an iconic uh, person that actually have, have lived uh, is something that you as an actor both would love and be terrified uh, about. Uh, am I correct in assuming that? No, absolutely. It's a, uh, it, it, it was a role that I leapt towards and wanted to run away from at the same time. Um, but uh then very quickly tried to burrow my way into who the guy was as a human being. Um, and, you know, he was one of the great human beings. Yeah, uh, for sure. Yeah. But uh, yeah. focusing on uh, who he was as a, as a father and as a husband, that was sort of uh, the goal for this production, seeing, uh, and 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 showing the friendship showing the uh the fabric of the friendship the uh the deep love between these two men uh Lincoln and Stanton and why it was so personal for Stanton to um not only apprehend his friend's killer but also then to save uh his friend's legacy um uh, and restore. Yeah. yeah, and I, I have no idea about the, like the bigger picture surrounding uh, all of this. I only knew that well, he, he was murdered, and and who who did it, but not why or how. Uh, so, uh, you you guys decided to. Uh, I don't consider that being a spoiler, but but we all knew that he was going to to die. But but you let us uh, go back and forth uh, in time to to get to know him a bit more, as you said. Uh, was there any particular scenes that you were really happy that 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 you were able to to shoot uh, to to kind of fill fill in those blanks? Uh, well, the first scene that Lincoln is in in the series is uh, receiving. Uh, the telegram that uh, that uh, Lee has surrendered. It was incredibly emotional shooting that scene uh, because of, I mean, we feel it now uh, because of the weight of the future of the union and that this horrible period was going to begin to end. Uh, that was that was wonderful then i really liked the scene where i had a softball and wanted to get my friend to go to a play with me and he was too busy he just didn't like theater it's okay yeah i also like the, the scene with the with the sun uh a lot um, yeah yeah uh, it's nice reading little dickens to my little dickens that's right so um, I want to thank you a lot for agreeing to to speak with me today, and I also just wanted to to say that I am a real big fan of Midnight Mass. So oh, I really wanted you. to to thank you for, for for that show as well. So best of luck with uh, the premiere of this show, and I I hope we get to speak again in the future. Me too. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. I did not realize how close we were to basically restarting the Civil War and reigniting uh, the rebellion in the South. Perfect. Hi, I'm Jonathan Bloomberg, writing for a movie scene in Sweden. Hi. Hi. And I, I just wanted to start out with uh, saying that I'm such a huge fan of your uh, comedy specials. So, so oh, thank it's you. thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so it's really nice to to get to speak with you uh, about this show that that I kind of feel like is, is something that I have not seen you do uh, a lot. But I really enjoyed your portrayal of, of this uh, character. Uh, well, he actually lived for real too. So. Yeah. Oh, th I I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you as well. So, uh, what what kind of uh, made you want to uh, do this uh, role in particular? Since uh, I'm guessing it wasn't maybe uh, something that you have sought out to do before, but it felt right to do now. Well, it was you know it was offered to me, and I went and read the source material, the book Manhunt, and I did you know I I'd I'd always learned a very um, shortened version of the Lincoln assassination. I did not know it was this complicated and vast and crazy and 
the character of Lafayette Baker right in the center of things, slightly um, trying to look out for himself as much as he was trying to catch Booth. That to me was a very intriguing character to play. And so it was very, it became very easy for me to say, yes, I, I thought it was fantastic. Yeah, I, I agree. And I also did, did not know that I obviously knew that the president was shot and killed, but I didn't know that there was this like plot against the entire country, basically. Oh, yeah. Uh, um, so, so, so that was really interesting to to, to learn more about. It, was there anything in particular that that you learned um, while shooting this or reading up on, on it that you found most interesting? I did not realize how close we were to basically restarting the civil war and reigniting uh, the rebellion in the South. That I did not know that there was that much. I mean, I I knew that that Booth was very much a southerner who believed in the southern cause i did not know there was this much high up support behind him in what he did and that he he was just part of a way bigger plan that got pretty close to being pulled off it's really scary to think about what might have happened if um things had gone other ways in in certain areas it, it's very it's a very intriguing story for sure, uh, and and also in, in regards to to Lafayette that you play yourself, he, he, he has a, a larger story that that we don't get to follow in, in this show because it's not about him per se. But uh, what what did you think about your own character? Well, you know, he his life story is um pretty fascinating. He he was not the most yeah. stable of characters, and but at the time, you know, I didn't play the later insanity that's that's coming down the road that we don't ever see what i'm playing is the um the classic i am gung-ho for this project even though i'm sort of looking out for myself a little bit and i'm using my gung-ho attitude to cover how i am maybe being a little bit of a fraud here it was it was really fun to play yeah i i, I could see that as well and we will just have to wait and see if we get that spin off, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> the Lafayette Baker <laughs> spin off. I, I would love yeah. to do it. Yeah, me too. So uh, thanks a lot for taking time to speak with me and best of luck with the premiere. Uh -oh, Thank of you this so show. much. Thank you. Um, as a black woman, it was very freeing to just be able to tell a story generations later. Uh I am Jonathan Lindbergh, writing for Movie Scene in Sweden. Hello. Uh, I, hi. <laughs> So I, I've watched the, the entire uh, miniseries uh, and I really loved it. Uh, so I was so happy to, to learn more about this thing that I already thought I knew everything about, but definitely did not. So, uh, so I, my first question is, how much did you know about uh, the assassination and everything uh, around it uh, prior to getting involved into to the show? I knew that the, assassin uh, the assassination happened. I didn't know that there was so much around it happening. Um, and I knew what the assassination, why it was like such, why it took a toll for the black people the way it did. Um, but as far as like the other assassinations and all the people that were involved in, including my character, Mary Sims, I didn't know much about this, which is why I feel like this show is so interesting. Yeah, I, I totally agree. Uh, could you speak a little bit more about, about your character uh, in, in specific? Yes, my character, Mary Sims, she plays um, the slave of Dr. Mudd, who also helps him. She also is one of the only black people that actually testified during that trial. And she is very smart. She's brave. She actually is a no BS kind of person in what it looks like for her on in that time period. Um, so you do see a little rebellion in Mary early, and you do see that she has very strong beliefs right away. Yeah, and and that uh, whole thing with uh, starting a, a school and stuff, mm. is, is that something that, that we know that she, she actually did, and, or, or is that for, for the show? And that one, we actually don't know too, too, too much about that, but we do know... Um, 
well, as far as like schooling and stuff too, to just say to that, I would say even if she didn't have a school, she could have been a teacher. Schooling for black people didn't look the way that we're used to. As soon as somebody knew yeah. something, they taught something. You know, it was more so like that. Kind, it was like a trade of like knowledge rather. So I do think she was that back then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I actually read the, 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 you can still read what she said during that trial. And it's, mm -hmm. it's really impressive to, to have gone from being a slave, being born a slave and actually standing there talking about the mm -hmm. trial uh, to assassinate the, the, the president of the United States. Mm -hmm. That's quite, quite the journey uh, yeah. that, that your character gets to, to, to go on. Mm -hmm. So, so but what did that mean to you to be able to, to play a part like that? Um, as a black woman, it was very freeing to just be able to tell a story generations later, um, just about like courage and just strength to be able to do something like just so small that's just so big in that time. So it was just very inspiring. Yeah, for sure. So uh, thanks a lot for taking mm -hmm. time to speak with me and best of luck with the premiere. I'm, I'm sure everyone will love it just as much as I have. Thank you.